I look bent rough this morning. You noticed in a couple past videos, I'm trying to set my tripod up, the middle section kept sliding out on two of the legs. But also, <clears throat> on this leg, the third one, third leg was always been has been stuck inside the second one. <clears throat> so I was trying to <clears throat> trying to get that one unstuck, and then ended up screwing up the. <laughs> screwing up the second leg also now it's jammed so <clears throat> i like this tripod too much it's got too much character it's been a lot of places with me and i'm out in the road so i don't know if i can get one order i gotta figure out if i can't get this figure out how to order one online and have it shipped somewhere out here in the middle of nowhere on the road <clears throat> i won't keep trying at it but I might have screwed up. Just trying to do some, do a little maintenance because now my my video tripod, my other one, <clears throat> which I bought, <clears throat> I bought this just to go over to <clears throat> the UK because I didn't want to haul around my big big tripod. I mean, this is nice little. This could fit my backpack. <clears throat> it's called a it's a Vanguard, so you can bring this up. And then this can flip down and packs up nice and compact. <clears throat> it's not the best for real windy conditions. It's a little flimsy and all that, <clears throat> but it got the job done while I was over there. <clears throat> and it's just, it's not that heavy. I mean, carbon fiber would have been a lot lighter, but yeah, this is the Vanguard VO265AB. <clears throat> I like it. And it's been a nice video tripod since I didn't have to haul around two big heavy tripods. But I did have a fall over once at the White Sands, but that day was really windy. <clears throat> and also it's in sand. But <clears throat> I'll keep working at my big one, but I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. So we'll get back to it and get back to it. See, we can't make something work. Because if I don't, until I get another one, my tripod's only going to be two foot tall. So all my shots are going to be low to the ground. <laughs> it's like before, you got to use what you got, make it work. So I'll keep at it. Who knows? I might get it. <clears throat> I don't know if this will show up. Let's try. Yeah, down in the center, you got... There's this plastic. I guess it got dry rotted and all that. That's what happened to my big legs. The plastic got dry rotted and broke and fell apart. So there's nothing... That's what kind of keeps it tight once it's extended. Because I'll see the tripod leg gets more narrow as it goes down <clears throat> so i was trying to work on getting that trying to get that plastic out and just deal with the third leg coming out every time but <clears throat> trying to hammer well it's probably not the best thing to use <laughs> on aluminum but i was just trying to break it loose that third leg down inside that was stuck in the second portion and i think i bent bent it a little bit so now i just now i just jammed it more oh my god just my luck that's what happens when you're on the road and something's gonna <clears throat> something's gonna happen <clears throat> my emergency fund is not supposed to be for camera equipment <laughs> i need a separate fund for that my emergency funds for my Vehicle expenses, if need be, or emergency, anything other than camera equipment. So, good lord. This part at the bottom, that's just the plate where the rubber foot screws into. So, it extends out past. So, I mean, if that gets, if that gets beat up, it's not going to affect anything. Still function. So, that's why I'm grabbing that portion. 
with my pliers. So I'm just trying to grab it and twist it. There's always something when you're out on the road. I mean, the first time I ever went out, <clears throat> had one of my CV axles on a blue truck go out and I'd take it off and <clears throat> had a three wheel drive for the next two years <laughs> until I just, I didn't really get in situations. I had one situation <clears throat> in Arizona where that third, third wheel came in handy. I was down a riverbank, sand bank. I couldn't get out. And that I was able to get that third wheel up on <clears throat> up on the bank and it was just enough to pull me out. That that CV axle would have broke on that side instead of where it did, and I'd probably be still stuck in a riverbank in Arizona. <laughs> so it's fun though. It's these type of things that keep things interesting. Life's not perfect. So, I've been needing a new tripod for a while, somewhat, but I just like, I guess I just like this tripod. Yeah, it's aluminum, it's a little heavier than, than a lot of them, but it's got so much character, I just like it. It's all nicked up and scratched up. and Looks like I do something. So, all right, let me, let me get back at it. I think I'm making it worse. <laughs> really don't want to have to order one. And I'm not really 100% on how to do that, where I can get it shipped to myself. <clears throat> I know people that do these big Appalachian trails and all that will send themselves packages to post offices ahead of them. That way when they get there, it's there and they can resupply. <clears throat> but I don't know how that works with stuff like this, shipping from a company. So, we don't know what to do. I just like this tripod. <clears throat> but now the, <clears throat> the other one's jammed in the, the second one. Just can't get it unlodged. It's aluminum, so it can't really stick screwdrivers down there and tap it with a hammer because it just bends it. Now you just make things worse. <clears throat> so... But outside, it's nice, cool, and cloudy. <clears throat> Just like yesterday, I did the video <clears throat> up there photographing while I hiked up a couple miles, photographed those snow-capped mountains, <clears throat> and there's no clouds around them. <clears throat> Still got some nice shots, but then I came down this other location, <clears throat> set up, there's another mountain range behind me. It's cool. It's still got it's got snow and things on it. It's almost like a mesa, I think. <clears throat> but just a hint of snow with like red rocks and all that. Now at the bottom, there's a hiking trail. We can go down to a canyon, and there's a river down through there. It has all these red rocks. I checked it out yesterday. But anyway, I was going to try to do some star photography over last night. I was just I just needed a couple of days to do some editing, and relax. I was tired. I ended up sleeping until 9.30 because I was going to get up and do some sunrise shots over those since the sun's going over there, rising over there, and the mountains are over here. Um, but I didn't. I decided I needed I wanted to sleep in. I was tired. But I wake up this morning around 9.30 and look out, and there's just these awesome moody clouds just wrapped around those mountains. I was like, oh, crap. I mean, I grabbed my, before I even brushed my teeth or anything, made my coffee or anything, I went straight out, grabbed my camera, grabbed my tripod, <clears throat> when it still works. <laughs> still can't get over it. But I got some shots of those, so I'm going to edit those later. <sighs> but for now, looks like I'm going to be doing a lot of low-to-the-ground shots. So... Pretty much my tripod's only gonna be like this tall. Well, keep twisting and grinding and poking and prodding. See if I can't get it dislodged. 
If not, it looks like I'll be online later and calling companies and see if I can get myself shipped a new one. I'm hoping B&H will, will be able to work me. They might be able to help me, help me out and try to get me something. Try it. <clears throat> Got some sockets. I just now thought about it. <clears throat> Get one that's the same size round. Same diameter as the the piece that's in there. <clears throat> I want to hit it with a hammer. It's hitting it evenly and it shouldn't bend it. So use this one for the smaller one. Then I got a bigger one for the other portion of the leg. So see if that'll work way my luck's going probably not it's pounding down through but guess what obviously the sockets only so long and I don't got enough extensions to reach that length. This is not looking good. Oh, Harvey. He's just laying there. He could care less. As long as he gets food and water. <clears throat> I don't think it's going to work. Because actually, earlier I was trying to dig that plastic out. I think the second leg on the inside, I'm trying to get that plastic out. I think it bent it some, so now it's kind of like weird shaped in there. Kind of went round and crushed down a little bit. Not much, but enough to really jam it. Because before I could pull that out, no problem. And that's jammed. So I think I'm going to get online, see what I can find, call the company. See how to get one shipped out to me. And to top this whole debacle up, right out my back door, all these mountains behind me. Pretty much, pretty sure it's snow because I walked out here and there's like some snow coming down here. But with being all cloudy and stuff, it's making that light softer on these mountains. And here I am dealing with a tripod issue. This day just keeps getting better. All right, update. Oh my God, I know my hair's a mess. I'm about to pull it out after all that. <clears throat> Got a hold of, B&H is closed until Sunday. <clears throat> and so, called Adorama. They're able to ship it to uh UPS store, but the downside is I was gonna go to Sedona, but none of the stores up there wanna answer their phone, so. Now I gotta now I gotta drive to Scottsdale, Arizona, which is about an hour and a half southwest opposite direction than I'm actually heading. <laughs> oh, but got it ordered. That was a fiasco. Four hundred dollars later. Because overnight shipping to get it here Tuesday, because today's Friday. And it won't go until Monday. So overnight shipping is like $85. I'm like, my God. So, but got a new tripod. At least this one's carbon fiber. It's over a pound lighter than my other one. So that's a plus. And yeah, got it ordered. So I got what? Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Three, three and a half days, four days at latest. So I'll just make do with what I got. I guess I lose about a good foot and a half off my height. So 
Do what you gotta do. So, four days, new tripod, and we'll be back at it. Well, this is my uh, height of my tripod until Tuesday. <laughs> it used to be, I think it went up to 62 inches before, and now, what is it, four foot, 48 inches? <laughs> All I got to deal with, but use what you got. I mean, the one I got, it's, it's a nice tripod. It better be, but this is it for now, for another four days. That's my life right now.